Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to one more video of Survival Kit for a cruise ship musician. My name is Anna and on this video I'm going to tell you about things that you can do at home to prepare yourself for the job on board. I just want to tell something to the bands. Bands, don't forget that on board you are going to be like a family. So any problem that you have, you need to solve it between yourselves. Please, please communicate, talk to each other whenever you have something to say. Don't have to problems unsolved because you are going to have ups and downs. But the thing is that when you are on land, you can just walk away and on board, that's not possible. You have a contract, you have obligations and you, you were committed to that, to that contract. So other people are depending on you. You are not alone. You have other elements of the band depending on you. So every decision that you do on board is going to affect not only you, but also the other persons of the band. So please, please be committed to the compromise that you have, to the contract that you have, because other people are depending on it. This is not just all. Oh, let me do one contract just to try it. No, uh, people have spent a lot of time, a lot of effort to have this uh, thing planned to go on board. They are planning to earn some money for uh, some time. Uh, so you need to be aware that this is like a commitment. It's like a marriage, okay? So don't divorce too soon, okay? Just just try to fulfill some some years before you quit, okay? Don't quit. So another thing that you need to be aware is that you are going to choose a band leader. The band leader is the person who is going to coordinate all the activities related to the band. It's also going to be the person in touch with your supervisors, with the agent. So this person needs to know English, okay? So Because you need to talk to everyone on board, you need to write emails, you need to solve any problem related to the band. And this is a really uh, responsibility, um, responsible uh, task. To fill in so this person that you're going to choose needs to be a very responsible person it's like your father uh, on board father or mother depending if you choose a, a woman or a, or a guy so the band leader because he has this responsibility he or she has these responsibilities is he or she is going to earn a bit more than the other elements of the band but it needs to be a very responsible person okay so just vote for the person that you think is going to take care of you on board so another important thing is that you need to have a portfolio so you need to have something to present to the agent well, bands working on board uh, most of the musicians working on board they all have agents uh, so you can look for an agency online, there are a few agencies working for cruise ships and they all always request you for a portfolio. A portfolio is something where you uh, write a small biography, you write uh, about your background, your musical background, uh, things that you have done already on land, uh, any experience that you have, your kind of training that you had on land, uh, also some photos, you can add some videos, if you have Facebook uh, or Instagram, you just need to write it down on your portfolio, and also you need to send a set list, so a list of music that you have to, to play on board, and the set list is very important, and why? Because on board you're going to play uh, between four to five sets a day, and you'll have different times uh, during the day to play, so the sets will not be the same. So there will be sets where you have two, three people, like for example, just reading a book, uh, people who wants to, to listen to some um, slow music, people who are playing cards. And then by the evening, for example, you have a venue full of people ready to dance. So it's really important to have a good variety of songs on your set list. For example, bands like uh, my band, uh, we are a party band, so we are always uh, playing also on parties. For example, there are 70s disco sound party, we have 50s and 60s rock and roll party, we have karaoke with the guests, we have the captain's reception, which is uh, by the second night of the cruise, where the reception, when, when there's a reception for all the guests and the captain comes and he introduces his team. So we have to play like um, lounge music you know or upbeat music you we have also top tier party which is the party for people who have who have more points uh, related to their room nights on board so it's like a private party and we play different kind of songs we have uh, for example uh, tribute sets 
Stevie Wonder, Motown, Beatles. Um, so it's important to have a huge variety of uh, songs. Also, because if you play three to four sets a day, imagine it's like around 40 to 50 songs a day. And if you are playing on a cruise, on a small cruise, three, four days, it's okay if you have like 150 songs, like you can repeat some songs, but by, by the end of the, the cruise, it's just like three, four days. But if you are doing seven days cruise, if you're doing crossing cruises, which they last up to 14 to 15 days, can you imagine like 150 songs? It's not enough for those uh, long cruises because you're going to get tired of playing all the same songs uh, over and over again also the guests who are going to watch you every evening can you imagine like listening to the songs all over and over again so you need to have at least to start around 150 songs but then you will have to increase your set list so you need to work also on board you need to see for example also sometimes you pick a song and that song is not working uh, with the crowd so you you think it's not it's not worth to play the song so you will also need to adapt yourself as the time is going by and see which songs are working with the guests which which songs are not things that you need to add to your set list but it's really important for the first time to have more than 150 songs guys because otherwise you will need to work a lot on board on the first days and i'm telling you the first days are really hard because you have a lot of trainings you need to adapt to life on board so just be prepared on uh, at home just um, manage your free time at home rehearse see which songs you want to include on your set list don't forget to have from jazz standards to rock and roll to some disco music to some pop music to top 40s um, just have a huge variety of songs so you can cope with the work on board another thing which is very important it's uh, i advise you to have some instrumentals because for example for the um, sets in the afternoon when people are just relaxing when when guests come on board and they are going to prepare for dinner some people just want to sit down on the lounge in, in the lounge and just listen to some easy easy music so just have some instrumentals and have people who can also sing behind uh, be be um also besides the the sing beside the singer because uh, for example it happened already with me i got sick and then the band still needs to play they're not gonna give you any rest because the singer is sick and she cannot sing so you need to have other people on the band singing also even if he's not like a good singer uh, but at least that he can he or she can sing can sing also this is really important because uh, the singer sometimes we like any other element of the band we we got sick we get sick right we are humans we are not robots so um, it's important that other people in the band can sing also so you don't have any problems when one of the singers uh, gets sick so this is really important for other musicians for example orchestra musicians just try to ask for the repertoire before the you go on board just to have a, an idea but if you are applying for orchestra musician you will need to read very well so you need to read to, you will need to read charters very well uh, also because you have the production shows but you also have some guest entertainers who come on board and you need to learn the set list on the same day so you just have like a few hours before the show to learn the songs that the guest entertainer is going to perform and you will need to read charters very well so just practice your reading while you are at home so you can be really really good once you get on board and you will not have any troubles with that Another advice for the band is that if you are at home now getting ready to go on board, please, please practice your language, practice English. English is the main language on board. We, we do everything uh, in English, trainings, important safety trainings. So we have annou uh, safety announcements on board and you need to be uh, able to understand what people are telling you. And if you are dealing with with the public can you imagine like people talking to you in english and you don't understand so if you are the face of the band if you are in touch with the and if you are the band leader please 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 practice english at home english it's really really important 
So as I told you before, the bands and um, most of the musicians on board, we work with, through agents and you can find the agencies, you can find some agencies on internet, agencies uh, which are working with uh, cruise brands, uh, because it's really, really uh, rare for a musician to contact to contact directly with the uh, with the with the enterprise with the cruise uh, company. You, we usually have agents working between uh, the bands and uh, the companies. Uh, some agents they charge you a fee, which is not our case. So uh, we work through an agent, but it's Royal paying us directly. We don't pay anything to our agent. But I know some bands who work through agencies and who uh, which have to pay a monthly fee to the agent. So just when you are uh, searching for an agent, just try to figure out if he's going to charge you something or not. Okay. So other thing that I want to tell you is that on board we usually have uh, some uh, different kind of musicians. So we have the orchestra musicians. We have a, a pub entertainer, which is all usually a guitar player and singer. We have a piano bar entertainer also playing piano and singing and piano bar players they always have a lot of sets uh, dedicated to artists like for example Neil Diamond, Beatles, Elvis so these uh, theme sets are very good because once you have them prepared you don't need to worry which songs you are going to play next uh, for example with our band we never have a set list prepare for every day. Only if we have a theme party, then we know which songs we are going to play. But usually on the daily sets, we just look at the crowd and our band leader tell us, for example, okay, now we're going to play this, now we're going to play that. And this is really good because at least we know we don't get bo uh, bored uh, because we are not playing the same songs over, over and over again. We are always mixing them, you know, like the order, it's never the same and we don't get bored. We don't say like, oh, like after Valerie, we are going to play this one. Okay, so it's not, it's not like that. And this is really important for you not to get bored because imagine you are going to be on board for five, six, seven months. Can you imagine playing the same set list over and over again? After the first week, you are already getting tired of it. So just try to mix your set list, not playing the same songs from the day before, uh, which is very good for you and also for the guests who don't get uh, bored of coming uh, to watch you. So we also have a, a variety of bands on board. We have the party band. Uh, which is my band and we play a bit of everything then we have the latin band playing mostly latin songs and we have the caribbean band which are which plays which play also a lot of different songs but also with some reggae um reggae vibe on the on the songs and usually caribbean band they play mainly by the pool by the pool venue uh, the other uh, the other bands also they always play by the evening by the end of the day and they play on the launches inside the um, the ship but of course this depends on each ship this depends on each itinerary you are doing it's not like a rule it's uh, but mainly it's like this but it can uh, change from uh, ship to ship from company to company so I hope that you had enjoyed these few tips that I uh, gave you. So don't forget to work on land on your set list. Just be intelligent with the choices that you are going to 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 do. Uh, don't forget that you're going to have sets which people are not even paying attention to what you are playing but then you will have some busy busy sets so try to manage your energy don't spend your energy when it's not necessary because you're going to need it later and as the end as the day is going by by the end of the day you start to be really tired so you need to save some energy because it's by the end of the day the guests really want to dance and to have some action you know so you need to save your energy for these sets by the evening okay so don't forget also to think of that when you are doing your set list so i wish you all the luck please please work while you are here on land work on your portfolio so once they call you to go on board you have everything prepared and ready to start rocking on board on next tuesday i'm going to tell you about the documentation that you need to have to uh, go on board so all the things you need to have passport visas and stuff like that uh, so I'm going to tell you all about that on the next 
video of survival kit for a cruise ship musician which is going to be played on next Tuesday. So I hope to see you all there, have a good week and bye bye!